Have you ever wondered if you can actually start in a certain niche with a certain type of product and if it's going to be profitable, but you run into the issue of calculating everything, what your FBA fees would be, what the actual product you're going to sell it for is going to be, but you have no idea how much you're really going to be spending on advertising? Well, we can dig into exactly how you can go about and figure out a general idea of how much you're going to really have to be spending on advertising and understanding is this actually a profitable venture? Is this a profitable product for you to be selling in the first place? So let's start off with our product. If we hop on over here to Amazon, I'm just going to use one of our age old age of sage. So let's say I am looking to sell a similar product to this. I am looking and this is going to be my primary competitor on Amazon. You're going to want to find essentially one of the products that selling already that you would consider to be a main competitor to the type of product that you're planning on selling. Once you do that, you can come on down here. So let's say we're going to sell some soap and we're competing with Age of Sage. Maybe we're going to be competing with, you know, uh, a couple other different sellers of soap. So we can look Dr. Squatch would be another one we can look at. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to take this ASIN. So we're going to take the ASIN. We're going to come on over to Cerebro. So you can see here I've already put in the ASIN here. Uh, you can see the ASIN in Cerebro in Helium 10 and we're going to come on down we're going to start to look for something specifically what we're going to be looking for here is what kind of keywords are we ranking for organically and sponsored specifically so we want to know what is our sponsor overall for this once we've identified some of these sponsored products uh and once we kind of understand a little bit more the overall keywords that we're going after so again sponsored rank we can see here and see Okay, so this is going after Sandalwood Mala, their rank one in sponsored rank. We can see all of these different keywords. Now, what this helps us do is start to go after specific keywords in the advertising. We can actually see in here what the suggested PPC bid is as well from a Helium perspective. So if we're wanting to compete with their sponsored rank number one, they don't even have an organic rank or even their organic Let's say we want to go against cold process soap. We can easily go after that. So we can take this cold process soap. We can see helium is suggesting $1.53. Well, let's come on over into our campaign manager and see what Amazon says. So we'll log in here to our campaign manager. And once we are logged in, we'll go to create a campaign. We'll do sponsored product. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to search for that ASIN. So let's take our ASIN again that we have here. We can come back down here, grab it, throw the ASIN in here, search for it. We'll add this ASIN. So again, we're going to add that one. We're going to do some manual targeting, keyword targeting, and we're going to enter a list. So we'll come back on over to Helium. So we're going to do this cold process soap. So if we look cold process soap, add that keyword, it's going to show us what Amazon thinks we should be bidding for this. So for a broad match, we can do 69 cent as a suggested bid phrase, 64 cents and exact 53 cents. Now that is a very, very different metric than what helium is suggesting from a bid. I typically am going to look at a little bit of an in between these two numbers. So over here, we have Amazon saying we could do 53 cents, 66 cents. Helium is saying we should do a dollar 13, two dollars. I'm going to take a in-between route for that and think that typically the helium side is going to be a little high. The Amazon side is going to be a little low if we are going for a winning bid. So we can generally assume that our overall keywords that we're going after for this cold process soap somewhere around the range of 80 cents, let's say for a winning bid. Again, we can take another one. Let's just say we want to do a competitive campaign against them. We can take the age of sage soap. You can throw that in here, you can add the keywords, and then we're going to go ahead and see, okay, so this is a lot more expensive to do. The point of doing this is to give you a general idea of how much it really will cost you to be within that product niche. All you have to do is add the product that you're trying to compete with to your Amazon side, upload it into your campaign manager, and then look from the Helium Cerebro side and then the Amazon side, how much is it really going to cost you to actually sell this product from an advertising perspective? You can do all of the other aspects via the FBA calculator. 
get it down to almost a science of how much you're going to spend. But advertising, you have to have a really good idea how much a click is going to cost you to know if you actually are going to be profitable. This is the easiest trap I see people fall into when they're first launching a product and something I think everyone should be able to avoid now.